Hello YouTube, this is a guy from Plymouth with a Sony Vega tutorial on how to make advanced muzzle flashes since I was asked by uh, Mr. The Cameraman 99 and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to make these uh, oops, shit, these muzzle flashes and I just out synced one of them, there we go and uh, now I will show you how to. I'm not going to show you how to make the muzzle flash itself since this is a stock footage image from Action Movie Essentials 1, which I have apparently. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm pretty sure that you wanted to see how the, how I made the slides go back. And I, and I told you guys guys like a bunch of time. Watch Clinton Jones. Clinton Jones. He makes he made a great tutorial on how to make muzzle flashes in, a, in an advanced way in, in After Effects. And I'm pretty sure you can copy like most of his uh, work from there just to do it on Vegas not not copy borrow copy will be plagiarism but yeah so I kind of borrowed his advice so that was it was a story so yeah it should be copyable advisably taken so yeah uh, now since I've made my muzzle flash you know just take the raw footage with the black screen set it to add and you have a perfectly good muzzle flash which you just needs then just needs to resize in track motion Sorry, I had to burp <laughs> and put it right there where it should be. So now, uh, a long time ago, when I actually made the video, I I used to mask out the upper piece of the gun and pull it back. Shut up, Windows, as if it's a slide. Uh, the slide itself, but now masking his film because on the second frame it just get gets messed up, and I wanna, don't want to make it mess it up again. So I'm just going to show you how to do it with gradient. How to do it with gradients. So just select the gradient. So straight, you know, put it onto your video. Let me just. Okay, let me shrink it down to like two frames. Those are the. That's the number of frames. We, oh crap! That's the number of frames we actually need. One or two, but in this case two. So now we're just gonna make it like this make it a line or gradient but it should be a horizontal line with color one and two dragged somewhere around the middle and uh, by the colors which we're gonna use we're just gonna click on this little piece right oh shit oh crap crap i'm not gonna say shit again there i said it whatever so now i just swear too much recently england has made me a sweary person <laughs> so now we just click on the generated media button I'm pretty sure you know you guys know how to do that, so uh, I'm going to drag this, and as you can clearly see now, since uh, we've done that, we just click on color one. We have color one. Click on this little button here, which is we can just select color from the screen. Select like the upper part of the gun. Why does it make it purple or something close to that? I have no absolutely no absolute no idea. But now click on the lower one, and now we should have something decent to cover up bring the opacity back up on the level and uh, mask out a piece a straight one from the uh, gradient itself so this is a crappy example right here that I'm giving you the gradient itself doesn't doesn't match the color that much oh it does <laughs> so now I'm just gonna delete this since I made my I made a gradient myself earlier before I started the story because this is actually take five. <sighs> yeah. So I would just I'm just gonna wait which one is mine? Oh this one. This is it. So now I'm gonna put it right here. And uh, I'm going to make it two frames. Like I told you guys. And girls and whoever's watching this make it one two frames oh crap oh that's one frame <laughs> two frames there we go and I'll just restore this so that I maybe restore box not view so now I can clearly mask out the piece I need which is somewhere around the middle and I'm just gonna be more detailed this time and make it as if it looks like a real oh crap it looks like a real slide it's not that realistic because uh, I mean I've held a real gun but I 
haven't paid that much attention to the slide. This is not very uh, detailed right now. But now I'm just gonna shrink it and put it on the gun. There we go. So now so it is on the gun. The color's a bit off, but that's not that much of a problem. So we just pull it back to the back of the gun. So it looks as if it's a slide and it's going back, like it should actually look. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, this is my first tutorial. Actually, this is take five on my first tutorial, but that's another story. So we just, now what we need to do is, we're gonna take the other gradient, which is a black and white one. And it, as, as, as I did on the, on the previous, previous one, sorry, I'm stumbling, I haven't slept all night. Uh, party, party, no party, but uh, so we just make horizontal line and mask out the bits and pieces that we need and you have to excuse me if you can't hear me very well that's because my laptop itself is pretty weak and the microphone sucks and every time the processor and the fan of the processor starts working harder it's, it gets harder for the laptop to cons concentrate on the microphone itself which I'm actually using and yeah that would mean that my laptop microphone sucks basically so now we have our we have our slide oh that's our slide come on so we just make the slide big enough to cover up the black part and we just change change the place of these both so that the uh, the slide itself is bigger than is covering the barrel it's supposed to be a sil silver barrel, but it's kind of good. I'm not saying it's perfect. I myself am not perfect. I can't make a can't make a perfect one right now because I uh, I'm just too sleepy and uh, probably can't. So so now another thing I want to show is this. The barrel is off as well as the slide, so we're just gonna motion track that. Move it up close where the where we shoot. Oh, we passed it. Come on, don't pass it, don't pass it. Don't fail me right now. Okay, there we go. So now we just click on the uh, box itself. That, that will keyframe the first frame. Move to the second one. And just rotate it so that it fits the gun. And, uh, yep. Set it a bit back as if the slide itself is going back. And now we're going to do the same thing with the, the uh, barrel supposedly what the barrel is so now oh, there we go we have that keyframe it click once move to the second frame and just rotate it and uh, adjust it so that we sell the trick we're trying to pull via our digital digital effects yeah and uh oops sorry for checking that yep that's it so now we'll just add some liner blur to it so because uh, after effects has motion blur but we don't us guys who use Sony i have after effects as well i'm and, but I'm, I'm 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 a beginner i'm just getting into it yet i have much to learn i blurred this part as well because otherwise it, it otherwise it would just stand there as a square and it wouldn't look it wouldn't look that good and there we go that's how i achieved my effect i can show you quick really quick another thing one of the two things the other one of them is how actually no i'm gonna do a second tutorial pretty soon so this guys was the tutorial i wanted to, wanted to show you this is how i made the effect on uh this is how it looks fast so it looks pretty good and hopefully you guys can pick up the basics from this and do whatever you like with your stuff you can like go crazy with effects and stuff so yeah thank you for watching and if you want me to make another tutorial on uh, for instance how i did the lighting and i can even show you how to do shells flying out of the, of the gun itself <laughs> like i did in another of my videos like, like, I do, like i do an mp5 test so yeah if you guys want to see that just comment and yeah thank you for watching and i, ho I hope to see you soon see you guys